You know, I think it's time for a game because why not? It'll be some fun. So we're going to show you when we went to the ocean, we saw a lot of cool fish and underwater creatures and they all have some amazing looks and some amazing names. And so we want you to help us identify what fish you're about to see. This game is called Something Fishy This Way Comes. So let's see that first underwater creature. All right, so this cutie is either named the A, Leafy Sea Dragon, B, Fluffy Sea Pencil, C, Ruffled Sea Candle, or D, Fred the Frill-Faced Fish. What do you think? You can put your answer in the comments or just say it out loud to yourself or think it in your head. You ready for the answer? The answer is, drum roll please, A, Leafy Sea Dragon. So as you can see, this little fish looks a lot like seaweed, which makes for great camouflage, which is great news because they're really bad swimmers, even though they live in the water. So that is the leafy sea dragon. Let's see our next creature. Ooh, look at this guy. So fluffy, adorable. All right, so the options for this name are A, the feathery wonderfish, B, magic fountain flounder, C, Christmas tree worm, or D, cookie crab. Was so that again? A, feathery wonderfish, B, magic fountain flounder, C, Christmas tree worm, or D, cookie crab. What are your thoughts? Looks kind of like a koosh ball. So cute. All right, the answer is C, Christmas tree worm. So these cuties live on coral reefs, and when they're startled, they can actually pull into their burrow inside the reef and hide, and hiding their cute little fluffiness while they do that. All right, let's see the next creature. Ooh, this one's giving me a fright. So the answers are possibly A, nightmare mouthed eel, B, sarcastic fringe head, C, taunting water snake, or D, kissy smoochy trout. All right, so A, nightmare mouth deal, B, sarcastic fringe head, C, taunting water snake, or D, the kissy smoochy trout. What are your thoughts? Uh, looks more like a nightmare than a kissy smoochy trout to me. Are your answers in? All right, drum roll please. The answer, the real answer is B, sarcastic fringe head. So this kind of fish is called a tube blenny, which is a great name for a fish. And they're very aggressive and protective of their homes. They live in, you know, basically tubes. So sometimes that means they're living in a shell or like a bottle that's been thrown in the ocean. We don't want to throw bottles in the ocean. Or sometimes they burrow into the sand. And when they fight, this is the face they make. So if someone else is approaching their home, they'll come out and make this face and go forward at other fish, other sarcastic fringe heads possibly and scare them away from their tube. I would be scared away. All right, let's see the next creature. Hmm, I like the looks of this one. All right, so the possible answers are A, vampire squid, B, werewolf squid, C, franken squid, or D, Godzilla squid. So we've established it's a squid, but what kind of squid is it? A, vampire squid, B, werewolf squid, C, Franken squid, D, Godzilla squid. All right, here we go. What do you think? The answer is A, vampire squid. So these vampire squids, they live deep underwater where it is very, very dark. And so you might know that squids a lot of times can shoot out ink to defend themselves. But these particular squids, because it's so dark where they live, instead of shooting out dark ink to defend themselves, they actually shoot out a colorless substance that has bioluminescent particles in it. Bioluminescent means it creates its own light. So it twinkles this substance and confuses predators that way. I bet that's very beautiful. I would love to see that. I might not be scared away, but I would definitely be distracted. And this little squid could get away. 
All right. Let's see our fifth and final creature. Hmm. I think this guy is adorable. Looks like a little puppy almost. Okay. So the possible names are A. Lipsticked lamprey. B. Chapped lip clawfish. C. Shouty the sea cow. Or D. Red lipped batfish. Let's run over those again. A. Lipsticked lamprey. B. Chapped lip clawfish. C. Shouty the sea cow. Or D. Red lipped batfish. What are your thoughts? So many good options there. The answer is D, the red lipped batfish. Makes sense, got those big red lips right there. So these creatures can swim, but they mostly walk. So they walk along the seafloor using those limb-like fins, which I would really like to see. So there you go, those are our fish names. The sea is so full of so many wondrous creatures. There's so much to learn.